mystery. Did you know you can create a custom rug with only a few basic items? Make a fluffy bath mat or a plush area rug in whatever colors you'd like. This tutorial is sponsored by favecrafts.com. Before we begin, you should know that although the technique is extremely simple, this is a time-consuming project. The rug I made is 3 by 5 feet, and I'd estimate that I spent about 40 hours on it altogether. But it cost me a lot less than it would to buy one that size, and it's exactly what my daughter wanted. Just be prepared to spend some time on it. I bought this rug canvas at Joann's, and you can also purchase them online. You can expect to pay between $8 and $12 on the canvas. You'll also need a large latch hook tool. My Walmart carries some with wooden handles for around $2, but I ordered this one with a soft handle for about $4 online. You'll be spending a lot of time with this tool, so make sure you choose one that feels comfortable. When it comes to selecting the materials to make your rug out of, pretty much anything will work as long as it's a jersey knit. Old t-shirts, stretchy jersey sheets, or fabric off the bolt will work. I decided to incorporate all three of these into my rug so that I could give you my feedback on the different materials. If you plan on dyeing your fabrics a custom color, you'll want to do that first. For best results, dye white fabric. I used RIT brand dye. You can use it in your washing machine or in your sink. Just follow the directions on the bottle. If you're making a multicolored rug like mine, you can save money by buying primary colors of dye and mixing your own custom colors. Here's an old t-shirt that I dyed orange for my rug. I cut the fabric into strips that were between one and one and a half inches wide. You really don't need to be precise about measuring because the fabric will curl inward a bit anyways. The sheets and the bolted fabric had a little more stretch to them than the t-shirts. So I cut the sheets and fabric to about four inches in length and the t-shirt strips to about five inches in length. You can use a rotary cutter or fabric scissors. My dressmaker shears could cut through a huge stack of fabric at once, so the cutting went quickly when I used those. I tried cutting the strips in both directions and found it was easier to latch the fabric when the direction of stretch went vertically down the length of the strip. Now it's time to get started. You can purchase hem tape for the edges of your rug, but it's cheaper and easier to just fold over the raw edge of the canvas about an inch and latch through two holes at once. This keeps the edges of the rug from unraveling. The latch hook technique is very basic. Poke the end of the tool through the hole. With the hook open, place the middle of a fabric strip around the hook. As you pull the tool back through the hole, the hook will automatically close around the fabric. Pull the strip halfway through the hole, then snag the top ends of the strip inside the hook and pull down through the loop. Tug on the two loose ends of the strip to tighten. I'm doing this very slowly so that you can follow along. It only takes about three or four seconds once you get the hang of it. I decided to add a knot to every other square. That is, I knot around one canvas seam, skip a canvas seam, and add a knot to the following one. Then I staggered the knots on the next row so that I was placing the next row of knots on the seams that were skipped on the previous row. I wanted to use lots of different colors on my rug, so I made borders that each had four rows of knots. However, you can do whatever pattern you'd like. To help you get an idea of how much fabric you'll need, one row of knots around the outermost perimeter of the rug took a yard of bolted fabric. This is what your rug will look like from the back. I don't see a visible difference between the different materials I used in my rug. However, my personal recommendation would be to check secondhand stores for jersey sheets, as they take less time to cut into strips than the t-shirts do. This project was sponsored by favecrafts.com. For more project ideas, visit madebymarzipan.com.